Well, thanks for coming back. And I think you can see, I, I, actually, Lynn, I mean, it's just so obvious. We have so many um, talented um, and, and really gifted um, kids throughout our entire school district and in the area of science um, that is no exception. So we're real proud for many years to have a district-wide secondary and elementary science and engineering fair, an annual competition. And uh, we want to talk about the science engineering fair um, this past year uh, at elementary and we have three outstanding participants to share with you. First let me introduce Peggy Stoip. Uh, Peggy is one of our parent volunteers for science and engineering fair. Although Peggy you really are more than that. You get involved in a lot of the coordinating and recruiting and and we just thank you for all of that. And we've got two of our amazing uh, young scientists uh, who have been very successful in science and engineering fair uh, in the past, in this past year. Uh, Tyler Eldringhoff. Yep. Uh, and Tyler is a fifth grader at Pine Forest. Tyler, it's good to see you. Good to see you too. And Haley Pupo. And Haley, you are a third grader at Timbers Elementary. Yes. And thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. So if I may, I'm gonna start with you, Peggy. Certainly. Talk a little bit about uh, overall, from your perspective as, as a volunteer, um, Science and Engineering Fair and, and what you observe it to mean for uh, students who participate. Well, uh, as far as the uh, science fairs in general at the school level, uh, students I see who do science projects are learning a great deal. They're learning critical thinking. They're learning how to uh, plan and execute a good scientific experiment using the scientific method, which is the same method whether you're in grade school or a professional scientist. That's right. mm -hmm. And if they choose to participate in a science fair, uh, they are also learning another important aspect, which is how to explain your research to somebody else, even somebody who might not know much about it, mm -hmm. and you know, make it understandable see the significance of it. And at the district level, uh, you have all the winners from all the other participating schools coming together in one place, not just to determine who's the best one, but I see the kids looking around, looking at the other projects, comparing their ideas, their techniques, their results, uh, getting tips on, hey, I might like to do something like that next year. All kinds of things. It's a very exciting experience. A lot of cross-learning going on. Oh, yeah. yes. That's awesome. Definitely. Well, and your point is well taken. And By the time you get to the district, if you qualify to compete in the district fair, you, all of those students are winners. I mean, they're, yeah. they're the best of their respective campuses. Oh, it's wonderful to see. Mm -hmm. Well, Tyler, tell us a little bit about your project and why did you enter the science fair? Um, well, my project's name was Crash Barrel Conundrum, and it was to test which material inside of a crash barrel would be the most effective, and by most effective, I mean would absorb the most energy, and how I did that is I made kind of a pendulum system, and I named it the Enforcer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and I put an egg inside of a cup on a medicine cup and then I filled around it the material that I was using and f like for instance sand and then I would cover it with um, this wrap this plastic wrap and then I would put it um, on my pendulum system and I would pull it back and then I would let it go and it would hit the um, cup with the egg inside and there were hard boiled eggs and the egg with the least amount of damage to it mm -hmm. uh, the material would have been the most effective. Wow. Wow that's pretty involved. That's awesome. What a great project. Thank you. Good job explaining it too. I think I understand it. Yeah <laughs> I get it. And how about you Haley? What was your project about? My project was Gonuts for Energy and in Gonuts for Energy I was measuring the amount of energy in six different nuts to find which nut has the most amount of energy per gram. Wow, and Haley, what was it? And what? I used a homemade calorimeter to okay. do it. Okay. So did you determine which one has the most energy? Yeah, by burning them using a homemade calorimeter. Okay. And was there one kind of nut that was better than, than the others? Yes. 
I'd say the pecan because it had the most fat and the fat had the most calories than others. Ah. Wow, that's good to know. Stay away from the pecan pie next Thanksgiving. Well, then. no, Haley just gave me a good excuse. I mean, I, oh, you need the energy. we got to do more pecan pies. That's that right. Works. That's we need right. the energy. Well, well, that's awesome. How many projects did they have this year, Peggy? I think uh, anywhere from 200 to 300 oh. projects. Uh, each wow. school sends for each grade level their three top students top projects so that's 18 a maximum of 18 per school and so depending on how many schools are participating I think probably at least 18 and there were private schools also and homeschooled kids so it's quite a big wow. quite a big fair yeah, and it sounds really kind of involved huge. too. These mm -hmm. are oh, yes. pretty sophisticated projects. Oh, absolutely, oh, absolutely. And Tyler, are. congratulations! You won Thank first you. place, best <gasps> in show. So, cool. ha so how did how did that feel? Uh, it was really an honor because out of the whole school district and all those awesome other projects that they picked me for the first place best to show, and I thought that was really an honor. It just felt amazing. Well, it is, and a well-deserved honor, so congratulations. Thank you. All that hard work paid off. And Haley, do you have any ideas for next year? Are you going to do science fair again? Yeah, I'm going to keep going until I run out of ideas, which is probably not going to be likely. Well, good. <laughs> Spoken like it. a true future scientist. Absolutely. Is science your favorite? It. Yes. So what do you want to do when you get out of school? Well, I was thinking of being a scientist, and or since I'm in karate, I'd be a master of Kiyoshi, both suit me. On the side, I'd like to be a veterinarian or a fashion designer. Me and my friends, like, we're drawing fashions and stuff. You we, and you are very fashionable, so I, you are that busy might girl. be a real good career. <laughs> real good career. Well, thank you all so much for being with us. Peggy, I know the science fairs can use uh, so many more volunteers. Oh, yes. So I, I really want to encourage you. Um, look on the district website. Uh, there's information about science fair. And you can contact uh, our science fair coordinator directly, at Dr. Aaron Clevenson. And we'll have his, um, his email address and the, the website up on the screen um, for you to please take down because uh, it's a wonderful activity and Tyler and Haley congratulations again thanks so much for doing it Thank you. Thank it's you. great to see you guys and, and have a great summer you just do. don't forget to come back at the end of August we'll look forward to that and Peggy thank you well, thank you, you make for a having huge me here. difference huge difference and we appreciate it stay with us Lynn and I will be right back